Welcome, this is Werps, and there is a new update on the beta branch, update 47 for this game. And it seemed small at first, but there was a major thumper rework that's going to completely change how we interact with them and how we fight them that does deserve some looking at. There's other cool changes. There's a leaderboard. There's challenge moons, some other fixes. So let's get into it. What you're looking at here is the old version of the thumper. Now I do have God mode on and a mini map and all that for testing. So that's, that's what all those are. Those are mods. But what you can see here is every time the thumper attacks, the thumper resets its speed. Once the thumper spots you, it actually also resets its speed. So then you have a small window to run up to it and just smack it because every time you hit it, it will reset its speed again, allowing you to combo it in a sense and just take it out pretty easily. Once you knew how to deal with these, they were fairly low risk risk but some changes have been made that are a buff and a nerf so that's why i'm going to call this a rework because the new version is a little harder to kill in a confrontation but it's easier to get away from and there are some things you can do to make it easier and i'm going to show you what those are here but we do need to also keep in mind that there was an issue where the thumper would keep gaining speed when it was trying to get someone. And if it ever lost them, it would just keep the speed and it would be a very, very fast boy until it smacked someone, which it almost certainly would due to its insane speed. And the rework does solve that, which is great. Now for the new version, this update 47 thumper in the beta branch will have a higher minimum acceleration but when it hits a wall it will actually slow down and reset that speed which i think was supposed to be a mechanic all along it just didn't work it was a thing that happened visibly with the previous version of the thumper but it didn't do anything to them so it was pointless now you can sidestep them or jump over them have them hit a wall and then combo off of that which is pretty cool this also vastly increases people's chances of encountering one of these when unarmed and actually getting away because when you break line of sight and run around stuff they'll have trouble chasing you and will actually lose you now you can still stutter step kill them like this but you will get hit sometimes it's harder it's much harder here is some combat footage in the background of the new version of the Thumpers as I was getting used to them. Note I do get hit a pretty decent amount here despite doing it pretty well. It's very tight now. You need very, very precise positioning and timing to deal with these. But there are some more changes here. You may notice my current weight on my character. It is eight pounds. The shovel only weighs eight now. I think it was 19 before, so that's a pretty nice little change. It's a pretty nice little change. They also made it so being converted by a masked will now play over a walkie-talkie instead of not. Usually when you die, the walkie-talkie just goes into static. Now it will actually play that they got eaten by a mast, which is nice because your teammates will know. So that's a cool little change. Spiders can now place between six and nine webs, previously four to seven, and can place them with less of a cooldown. So spiders have a bit more webs. It's fine. Now the shovel was apparently buffed slightly in hitbox range. It is supposed to project a sphere to do damage from what the code says, as my friend has shown me. And they have changed the forward range from 1.4 to 1.85. So it's a bit of an increase. It should help. Now, I have noticed that when I am aiming crazy far down when fighting these thumpers, like 45 degrees down, my chance of hitting them is higher. I still sometimes get whiff hits on seemingly nothing, but the chances of it actually landing seem to be better with a very, very downward angle. 
Now for the new game mode, you can see at the bottom right that save file 203. That is the randomized challenge moon. Now that seems to have the same seed for everyone. So you can compare how people do. Now, as you can see here, people are going to cheat and there's kind of just nothing we can do about it, really. So this is only really good for comparing your run to your friends for fun it's not going to be any real measurement of skill there are tons of mods out there that give obscene advantages people can literally just spawn items and get silly scores so this is you know there's nothing they can really do about it it's unfortunate that people do that but it's just how it is you can also delete your score if you want but you cannot replace it. You can only delete it if you want to, which is nice, I guess, to have the option, but you will not be able to get a new one. So if you're unhappy with your score, you can just wipe it away. You can play it again, but apparently there will be differences. It won't really count the same. I hope he allows more chances in the future. I don't know about once a week. I don't know the exact timings on this thing, but I like the system. I like where he's going with it to just give people, you know, some little extra thing to do. Like you don't have to do it. You can just ignore this forever and it won't matter. So it's just a little extra activity. He also added a new tag system. The top left here, you can see enter server tag. Typing something in there will filter for that server. Now, there's no servers up right now because this is the beta thing. It is possible to play with others on this. There's just nobody on. But you can put in tags such as 18 or higher, mics, anything you want. You can filter for a challenge run specifically. You can really search for whatever you want. Now, I wished he had made, instead of a whitelist, a blacklist because you can search for a specific server, but what I really have issues with in the server list is filtering out all of the weird servers by people that just should should stop it, honestly. And there's just too much. Like They clutter everything. The server list isn't even long enough to account for all of the weird clutter servers that just sit there forever, where some dude is just kicking people out and keeping it at the top of the list and making it harder for everyone. I, I hope he adds a way to make it so I don't see certain terms, or I could even potentially blacklist specific players from me seeing their lobbies, because it's getting ridiculous. I've also seen talk of the forest giants supposedly being able to be baited by the horn. However, in my testing, I could not reproduce that. It, they did not react at all to it, no matter what I did. What I did see was what from my friend showed me of the code. There are differences in how they decide where they're going. And he thinks that they are intended to be changed to have a higher chance to leave the ship alone when they're done chasing someone because you know how giants will just sit there right at the front of the ship and just stand there until you go and like close the door and give them time to walk away i think he is intending to make that less of a thing i don't think the horn does anything i think it was just a coincidence that it happened to work for them i'm not totally sure i just didn't work for me so We'll see what happens. You can see multiple giants on my mini map up there and they're just not reacting at all. For anyone that doesn't know how to change your beta participation on Steam, here is a guide from 1990 showing you how to do it. You just right click on your game, you hit properties on the menu that shows up, then you will see the box on the right, you will click the beta section, and then you'll have a drop down to be able to select which version of the game you want to play. You will need to swap this back if you want to play on the live version. You can actually even go to the previous version, interestingly enough, on this game. It very is game to game thanks for watching here's some other videos you may enjoy they're all bangers and here's a weird clip where my friend gets blasted even though he's really get, far away get it how he just